In video 9, we'll be discussing the sticker pod. In this video, we're going to talk about the sticker pod. And I'm going to simply click it. And what you're going to see is different things like character sets, glossy, hair and fur. This is one I put in here based on the stickers that Jews made in the forum. There's their nature stickers. Look through them. The stamps. And ones I made. Now if we go into the stickers, I'm going to choose the bright bobbles. I'm just simply going to click on it. And this will pop up. And I'm going to choose the red one. And as you see, it came up. I'm going to close out of this. I'm going to move this over and increase it. And then simply click out. Now, as you'll notice, I was on this when I began. But what ArtRage automatically does is make, when you do an individual sticker, put it on its own layer. Now these little feet will indicate a sticker layer. So if you click on the little feet, you can see that you can transform the less sticker. And this means you can do whatever you need to do with it. You can flatten the sticker to paint, which I don't want to do right now. But I'm going to change the sticker tint. So I'm going to click on it. This will pop up if I want to go to green and click OK. It's now a green. So cool. And I can also change the sticker shadow from here. This means I can increase the radius, meaning around it. I can increase the opacity. I can make it so it goes left or right on the shadow. And I can make it go up or down. And I can also change the color. Let's put it to a blue and click OK. And click OK again. And now I have a lovely blue halo around my green bobble. Now you can also right click on the item, transform the sticker, But let's click out. Now I'm going to right click and I'm going to the sticker tint again. And let's go to a light blue and click OK. And then it's a different color altogether. Now let's do a right click, sticker shadow, and we can also change the color again and maybe go to a purple and click OK and click OK again and it changes. I can right click I can do the sticker opacity and put it down to say 50 and click OK and then I have the shadow showing through. Now I can also right click and delete the sticker. Now with this, if I want to add a group, all I would do is click here, give it a new name. Say you got a sticker from somebody like someone same. I would click OK and I now have an empty group. Now if he puts some into the technical area, all I'd have to do is save them to my hard drive and then do import stickers, find it on my art drive where I've saved it to, and then just put them in. And it has to be a sticker STK. Right now I don't have any, so I'm going to cancel out. 
If you've made a new sticker, you do this, and this brings up a new sticker sheet. Now this is for a more advanced tutorial that I'm going to go into. I'm just showing you that it's here. So I'm going to go out by clicking Cancel. Now here you have the Add Sticker Group, the Open User Stickers folder, and this is the one I just created for someone saying, and this is mine, and it will have the different stickers I've made. And you can create a new sticker sheet from this little thing instead of just pressing this. So that's it for the sticker sheets. Just have fun. Play around with them. Press on one. Tap it. Make it bigger. Move it down and have fun changing it by either right clicking let's get out of the transform by either right clicking changing the tick sticker in any way you want or going up here and changing now in the next video I'm going to talk about the sticker spray